Welcome back to FD, where today we're looking at 11 players who cost a fortune and produced nothing in return. Goalkeeper Claudio Bravo. The ninth most expensive keeper of all time, Claudio Bravo was a vital part of Barcelona's 2015 treble winning side, having switched to the Catalan Giants after eight years at Real Sociedad, where he had also scored a goal from a free kick back in 2010. Brought in at 33, Bravo was supposed to be a quick fixing goal for Pep Guardiola, a keeper who could also distribute the ball from the back and allow City to draw in the opposition before slicing right through them. But unfortunately, on the journey from Spain to England, Bravo turned into Swiss cheese, with everything getting through him. In 22 games, he made 27 saves and conceded 26 goals. City might as well have put a sumo wrestler on one side of the net and rolled the dice. A year on, Pep papered over the error with a massive check, picking up 23-year-old Edison from Benfica to relieve the butterfingered Bravo, at a cost of 40 million euros. Oh well, Claudio, better to lose your place to Edison than to Willy Caballero. Defender, Matteo De Bucci. A waste of money through injury rather than ability, since his arrival in 2014, De Bucci has made just 13 league appearances for Arsenal. Grabbing the attention of the country's top teams thanks to his marauding performances at right back for the Toon, it wasn't long before the Frenchman ended up as damaged goods. Filling the boots of fan favourite Bakary Sanya was always going to be tricky, but avoiding the sidelines proved even harder. In Dabucci's fourth league game for the Gunners, he suffered an ankle sprain that ruled him out for nearly three months. His comeback lasted an astonishing five games before Marko Arnautovic broke the fullback's shoulder following a malicious push out of play. That signalled the beginning of the end of the Frenchman's Arsenal career, as Hector Bellerin took to a first-team role like a duck to water, while poor old Dabucci has made just three league appearances since 2015. Somehow, the France international is still on Arsenal's books, pocketing around 60k a week to play the odd Europa League fixture. Defender Dimitro Chigrinsky If nothing else, Dimitro Chigrinsky will always be remembered as one of Pep Guardiola's worst buys, even beating Claudio Bravo. The Ukrainian centre-back joined Shakhtar Donetsk at the age of 16 and won three titles and the UEFA Cup before joining Barcelona in 2009 where he was expected to partner PK as the long-term replacement for Carlos Puyol. The first ever Ukrainian to play for Barca, Chigrinsky failed to impress, appearing just 14 times in all competitions and picking up a league winner's medal from the bench. Pep was supposedly keen to give the defender another year, but Barcelona had no cash at the time, having to take out a loan to pay player wages. They sold Chigrinsky back to Shakhtar for 15 million euros, bringing his career cost to 40 million, more than Ricardo Carvalho or Jerome Boateng. He won another two titles before departing to Dnipro and then Greece, where he now features for AEK Athens. Defender Fabio Coentrao When Real Madrid spent €30 million Euros on 23-year-old Fabio Coentrao in 2011, they expected to get an exciting wide player who could perform as a left-back or winger. In the end, the Portuguese has disappointed in both positions, making a paltry 58 league appearances over six years with Los Blancos. Coentral fans will point out the defender did play in Real Madrid's 2014 Champions League triumph over Atletico, but when he was subbed off after an hour, Real were 1-0 down. Marcelo came on and Real ran out 4-1 winners, with the Brazilian scoring one himself. And Coentral has twice been farmed out on loan, to Monaco and to Sporting, not exactly a sign that the Merengues have been delighted with their purchase. Meanwhile, Portugal were able to do without him too, with Coentrao missing their Euro 2016 victory and spending 697 days out of the national team. Midfielder André Schürrle Somehow, despite having had only one great season, André Schürrle has commanded fees totalling 93 million euros. And he's still just 26. After hitting 15 and 33 at the age of 20, playing under Thomas Tuchel at Mainz, Schürrle has never spent longer than two seasons at one club, underwhelming at Chelsea, Wolfsburg and now Dortmund. However, the winger seems to have gone to the Lucas Podolski school of being in the right place at the right time. Schürrle may not be especially fast or creative or skillful for that matter, but he has still hit 22 in 57 caps for the German national team, not to mention the assist he got for Mario Goetze in the 2014 World Cup final. It seems that among all the sides he has played for, the only one to get their money's worth out of Schürrle are Mainz in Germany, the two that didn't pay a penny for his services. Midfielder Juan Sebastian Verón Everyone knows about Juan Sebastian Verón's disappointing spells with Man United and Chelsea, where the Argentinians spent a combined three years and scored just 12 goals. 
Previously, he had helped Lazio to just the second title in their history and was acclaimed the world's best midfielder by Ferguson and Ranieri. His transfer fees ended up amounting to a whopping 116 million euros. United paid 42 million of that, meaning that Varon is still the fifth most expensive central midfielder of all time. But though he won a title at Old Trafford, the Red Devils and Chelsea got far less out of him than Estudiantes, where the playmaker began his career and where he returned after he'd had enough of Europe. Los Pincheratas paid just 2 million euros to bring the 31-year-old back to La Plata, and La Brujita rewarded them with two titles and the Copa Libertadores. Veron was man of the match in the final, and it was Estudiantes' first continental triumph since they won three on the trot between 1968 and 1970, when their star midfielder was Veron's father, Juan Ramon. Midfielder Enzo Perez Enzo Perez won the Copa Libertadores with Estudiantes and two titles with Benfica before joining Valencia in January 2015 for 25 million euros. At that point, a month away from turning 29, Perez was Los Che's third most expensive signing ever. And when they beat Real Madrid on his debut and went on to finish fourth, it looked like the club would benefit from his experience. But the next year, Valencia came 12th, losing 16 games, and the season after, with Perez appointed captain following Paco Alcacer's departure, they finished 12th again, this time losing 18 times and conceding a massive 65 goals. And far from providing stability in midfield, the Argentinian received 14 yellow cards and a red in just 27 appearances. Valencia cut their losses after 30 months and sent Perez back to Argentina, where he joined River Plate for just 2.5 million euros. And the national team seems to have abandoned him too. He has been capped just three times since he moved to Spain. Midfielder, Hulk. Only five players have a cumulative transfer cost higher than Hulk's. Hamas Rodriguez, Higuain, Zlatan, Di Maria and Neymar. However, while the others may deserve their exorbitant price tags, Hulk has never played in one of the world's top five leagues. And over a third of his career goals have come in three seasons spent in China and the Japanese second division. Fast and with a cannon of a left foot, Hulk is like a player built in FIFA, with some outstanding attributes but zero match intelligence. His best period came at Porto, who spent 19 million euros to acquire him from Tokyo Verdi. And though he hit 35 goals in one season and 21 in another, he still ended his time in Portugal with under a goal every two games. A worse strike rate than Bas Dost has managed across his whole career. Zenit spent over 40 million euros to bring the forward to Russia, with the details kept quiet thanks to shady third-party ownership dealings. But somehow they still turned a profit on the Brazilian, as Shanghai SIPG dropped 56 million euros to take the then 29-year-old to China in 2016. He scored 13 goals in the 2017 campaign, seven fewer than teammate Vu Lai. World class. Midfielder Gilfie Sigurdsson Everton thought they were onto a winner when they forked out a club record 49 million euros to sign Gilfie Sigurdsson in August 2017. The Icelander was 28, but he had scored nine and assisted 13 the previous season. And it was hoped that his connection with Wayne Rooney might replace the 31 goals and assists provided by Romelu Lukaku before his departure to Man United. However, while Sigurdsson created 80 chances in 2016-17, the seventh best total in the Prem, a massive 69% of those came from corners and free kicks, compared to 28 to 33% for truly elite creators like Ozil, Eriksson and KDB. In short, Everton paid a world-class fee for a good but unspectacular player. 13 games into his time on Merseyside, the former Swansea man has one goal and three assists in all competitions, and the manager who signed him, Ronald Koeman, is unemployed, meaning Sigurdsson's signing could be said to have cost another 10 million euros in severance pay. Forward Jackson Martinez Another South American incapable of performing outside Porto, Jackson Martinez has cost four clubs over 90 million euros, more than players like Carlos Tevez, Edinson Cavani and Arjen Robben. And while the Colombian has scored over 20 league goals on five occasions, since 2015 he's bagged just seven in all comps. In the forwards' defence, he was genuinely brilliant at Porto, scoring 67 goals in 90 league appearances, giving him a strike rate of 0.7 goals a game. Better than Aubameyang at Dortmund and Aguero at Man City. That enticed Atletico Madrid into a 37 million euro bid perhaps hoping they'd replicate the success of Martinez's countryman Radamel Falcao, who had made the same switch four years earlier. 22 games and just three goals later, Diego Simeone must have felt relieved when Luis Felipe Scolari came calling, offering Atleti a 5 million euro profit to let their flop leave for China. Gangsu Evergrande, Martinez's new team, won the double in his first season. 
forward Fernando Torres. Fernando Torres' 59 million euro move to Chelsea back in 2011 is still in the 25 most expensive transfers ever. But while he scored 81 goals for Liverpool in the four years before, he has scored just 83 in more than seven years since then, even though he was just 26 when he moved. The Reds paid 469,000 euros per goal, while for Chelsea that number was 1.3 million, thanks to a serious knee injury which robbed the Spaniard of his pace. Nonetheless, the forward won the Champions League at Stamford Bridge, meaning he has a domestic cup, the European Cup, two European Championships and the World Cup on his CV. But no league title, unless you count the Spanish second division title he won with Atletico Madrid in 2002. However, after a disastrous loan spell at Milan, Torres' story has a happy ending, with a return to Atleti, where he helped reach the Champions League final in 2016. So thanks once again for watching, guys, and if you enjoyed this, why not click on screen right now for another one of our fantastic videos. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.